What's up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video showing you how to make professional looking trading card game packs like these. Um, and these ones are of course from my trading card game, the Chaos Galaxy. So if you haven't checked out some of my other videos on that then please check them out. And if you like what you see then maybe subscribe. Also I've just passed 1000 subscribers so I will be doing a face reveal on a 1000 subscriber special soon. But for now I'm going to show you how to make packages for your trading card games like these ones here. Okay so first off I'm just going to go through the things that you'll need to make your actual trading card packs. Um, first off you're going to need a sheet of A4 paper. And that's just regular printer paper, not this card that I use to make the actual trading cards themselves. Just A4 paper, printer paper will be fine. And from one sheet of printer paper, you could probably get about three packs out of them. It'll depend on the size of your cards. So one sheet of paper is three packs. So if you want to make nine packs, then you're going to need three sheets of paper and so on. I'm sure you know your three times tables. Next up, you're, of course, going to need the cards to go inside your pack. So I've just got some... Chaos Galaxy cards here. Yeah, you need these so you can get the size of the packs correct. Also, you want to think about how many cards you want to put in your packs. I like to use nine as a good number because that's how many cards you can fit on an A4 sheet of paper when you're printing off the actual cards. You're then going to need some sticky tape. You're going to need either a cutting knife and a ruler, preferably a metal one, um, or a pair of scissors. I personally much prefer to use a knife and a ruler because you can get a good clean cut, whereas with scissors it can you can sometimes get quite a wobbly line with it, which isn't what you want. And then of course you're going to need the picture of the card that you want on the front of your packs, if you want a uh, picture on the front of your packs. Um, I think it tends to look better with... Like, you know, a card out of your favourite card from the set or something to have on the front cover of your packs. And then um, I also like to put, like, a sort of funny, jokey one on the back cover as well. So that's an optional thing, really. You're also going to need a printer and a computer. I have my MacBook here. And you need to have access to either Microsoft Word or Pages um, for Mac on this computer. And that's everything you need. Okay, so step one of the pack making process is making the outline or the template of your pack. So you're going to go and open a new Word document or Pages document if you're using Mac. New document, blank, and it'll come up with a white sheet like this. And what you're going to do is then take your A4 piece of paper literally just hold it up to the screen and zoom in on your computer so that the size of the a4 page on your screen is the same as the real life piece of paper that you're holding up in front of it and it's quite important that you get this dead on because the packs you'll be making are so small that even half an inch off will make quite a big difference when measuring your page so there I think we've just about got it so this is an actual size A4 sheet and what you're going to then do is go on insert shape and just make yourself a plain black and white rectangle. Okay there we go. You're then going to take your example trading card from your game that you're going to be putting inside the pack and doing what we did again with the A4 sheet of paper we're going to literally just change the size of this rectangle so it's the same size as our example card here and for my example card I've chosen a transponge because he's my favorite card in set one. So there we go we now have a transponge sized rectangle in the top left hand corner of our screen. I'll just move it along a bit. Um, okay, you're then going to go copy, paste, and make another one of these rectangles. Now always remember that this rectangle we have here, the first one that we made, is the size of one of your cards. You're going to take the second rectangle, this new one, you're going to make it the back layer of all the rectangles you're going to be making. So there, this new one is now behind our transponge one. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger than our original rectangle and just put it behind the original one. Now this is going to be the outline for your pack and you want the packs to be quite snug so so you have the original card here and then the out, the outer rectangle is going to be the size of the pack. So you're going to want to make this, I'd probably recommend you make your outside triangle which will be the outline of your pack probably just under half a centimetre, maybe 0.3 centimetres or so um, bigger What's up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video showing you how to make professional looking trading card game packs like these. Um, and these ones are of course from my trading card game, the Chaos Galaxy. So if you haven't checked out some of my other videos on that then please check them out. 
and if you like what you see then maybe subscribe. Also I've just passed a thousand subscribers so I will be doing a face reveal and a, a thousand subscriber special soon but for now I'm going to show you how to make packages for your trading card games like these ones here. Okay so first off I'm just going to go through the things that you'll need to make your actual trading card packs. Um, first off you're going to need a sheet of A4 paper and that's just regular printer paper, not this card that I use to make the actual trading cards themselves. Just A4 paper, printer paper will be fine. And from one sheet of printer paper, you could probably get about three packs out of them. It'll depend on the size of your cards. So one sheet of paper is three packs. So if you want to make nine packs, then you're going to need three sheets of paper and so on. I'm sure you know your three times tables. Next up, you're, of course, going to need the cards to go inside your pack. So I've just got some... Chaos Galaxy cards here. Yeah, you need these so you can get the size of the packs correct. Also, you want to think about how many cards you want to put in your packs. I like to use nine as a good number because that's how many cards you can fit on an A4 sheet of paper when you're printing off the actual cards. You're then going to need some sticky tape. You're going to need either a cutting knife and a ruler, preferably a metal one, um, or a pair of scissors. I personally much prefer to use a knife and a ruler because you can get a good clean cut, whereas with scissors it can, you can sometimes get quite a wobbly line with it, which isn't what you want. And then of course you're going to need the picture of the card that you want on the front of your packs, if you want a uh, picture on the front of your packs. Um, I think it tends to look better with... Like, you know, a card out of your favourite card from the set or something to have on the front cover of your packs. And then um, I also like to put, like, a sort of funny, jokey one on the back cover as well. So that's an optional thing, really. You're also going to need a printer and a computer. I have my MacBook here. And you need to have access to either Microsoft Word or Pages um, for Mac on this computer. And that's everything you need. Okay, so step one of the pack making process is making the outline or the template of your pack. So you're going to go and open a new Word document or Pages document if you're using Mac. New doc. What's up guys, Zach here from the Chaos Galaxy and today I'm going to be doing another tutorial video showing you how to make professional looking trading card game packs like these. Um, and these ones are of course from my trading card game, the Chaos Galaxy. So if you haven't checked out some of my other videos on that, then please check them out. And if you like what you see, then maybe subscribe. Also, I've just passed 1,000 subscribers, so I will be doing a face reveal and a 1,000 subscriber special soon. But for now, I'm going to show you how to make packages for your trading card games like these ones here. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to go through the things that you'll need to make your actual trading card packs. Um, first off, you're going to need a sheet of A4 paper. And that's just regular printer paper, not this card that I use to make the actual trading cards themselves. Just A4 paper, printer paper will be fine. And from one sheet of printer paper, you could probably get about three packs out of them. It'll depend on the size of your cards. So one sheet of paper is three packs. So if you want to make nine packs, then you're going to need three sheets of paper and so on. I'm sure you know your three times tables. Next up, you're, of course, going to need the cards to go inside your pack. So I've just got some... Chaos Galaxy cards here. Yeah, you need these so you can get the size of the packs correct. Also, you want to think about how many cards you want to put in your packs. I like to use nine as a good number because that's how many cards you can fit on an A4 sheet of paper when you're printing off the actual cards. You're then going to need some sticky tape. You're going to need either a cutting knife and a ruler, preferably a metal one, um, or a pair of scissors. I personally much prefer to use a knife and a ruler because you can get a good clean cut, whereas with scissors it can you can sometimes get quite a wobbly line with it, which isn't what you want. And then of course you're going to need the picture of the card that you want on the front of your packs, if you want a uh, picture on the front of your packs. Um, I think it tends to look better with... Like, you know, a card out of your favourite card from the set or something to have on the front cover of your packs. And then um, I also like to put, like, a sort of funny, jokey one on the back cover as well. So that's an optional thing, really. You're also going to need a printer and a computer. I have my MacBook here. And you need to have access to either Microsoft Word or Pages um, for Mac on this computer. And that's everything you need. Okay, so step one of the pack making process is making the outline or the template of your pack. So you're going to go and open a new Word document or Pages document if you're using Mac. New document, blank. And it'll come up with a white sheet like this. And what you're going to do is then take your A4 piece of paper 
literally just hold it up to the screen and zoom in on your computer so that the size of the A4 page on your screen is the same as the real life piece of paper that you're holding up in front of it. And it's quite important that you get this dead on because the packs you'll be making are so small that even half an inch off will make quite a big difference when measuring your page. So there, I think we've just about got it. So this is an actual size A for making on the computer and this is the optional bit but I think it gives a really nice touch to your cards and that's adding on your own images to your cards so and it just make, gives it that personal touch sort of thing and makes it show that it's your game if you've got your favourite card on the front. So the way you're going to do that is take the card that you want and I want the cover card for set 2 to be Elite Drangel which I have here and what you're going to do is take a photo of this card Obviously I can't do that now because I'm using my camera to film this, but I'm going to go off screen, take a picture of that, upload it onto my computer, and then I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so I've got my picture of Elite Drangel up here that I want to be the cover card, and you're going to go on the internet, you are going to go on a website called pixlr.com. Um, this is like an online version of Photoshop. If you have Photoshop and you know how to use it, then I'd probably recommend that you use that but this is just a free version that I have if my internet will load. I'll put a link to this website in the description below. Okay so we've got Pixlr up here. Um, you're going to go down and click on the Pixlr editor and launch the web app. Okay and then once that's loaded you're going to open image from computer. Okay so here's our picture of Elite Drangel. Just open that. Once you've opened up your Elite Drangel in Pixlr or Photoshop you're going to go back to your original pack that you were making and you see this sort of light yellowy box here, um, well these two boxes because it's separated by that line there. You're going to make the background of your card picture the exact same colour as that yellow. So I'm just going to have to sort of guess here. Um, if you just go on the paint pot there, there that yellow seems to be similar. Um, and then you just fill your background that yellow colour, fill in any gaps that we've got. And then um, there's a little mark there, so if we just go on the paintbrush, uh, make it a bigger size, and then rub off those. Okay, there, so I think that's just about done it. We now have an Elite Drangel, or your picture, whatever you're using, um, with a yellow background, and we're going to go ahead and just save that onto our computer. I'll just uh, save this onto my desktop. And then what you're going to do is go back on your uh, example packs here. Whoops, I don't know why that's gone um, green. There we go. And we're just going to take our Elite Drangel here and drag it into this box. So now our Elite Drangel is in here and I'm um, going to have to just alter the size of him a bit. And there we have our trading card game booster pack with our cover card on it. And now obviously with my Chaos Galaxy packs, uh, you know, there's a bit more detail on there and I'm just showing you a sort of basic way of doing it. But it's the exact same principle and, you know, you, you've got everything you need to know now. And then the next step is to print these off on your computer and we're going to cut them out and make some actual packs. So we're finished with the computer now once you've printed this off. I'm not going to print these off because um, I'm not going to use them and they're just a waste of ink. What I've already done is printed off some more Chaos Galaxy um, cover packs which I'm going to use. Um, so if you just print these off and then if you'll be left with an A4 sheet not dissimilar to this. Okay so what you should have now in front of you is an A4 sheet of paper with your trading card packs on. And the next step is when you need to get your um, Stanley knife and ruler or your scissors and remember kids always be safe when using a ruler and you're just going to cut along the outside of the boxes here. Okay so what you can do is there are three things that I'd say you could do with um, this top bit here that's not going to be an actual part of the pack. You can cut it off completely so the pack just looks like that and then seal the top with sellotape later. You could cut around the edge of these uh, pentagons with your knife and ruler so it creates this little top bit that I use and then what you can do with that is either tuck, either leave it hanging, I quite like the shape of it with that top bit so I, I leave it out but what you could do is 
sort of cut away the corners of it. Okay, and then we'll cut the corners off here. It doesn't matter if you don't use a ruler for this bit because you can be a bit, you can afford to be a bit scruffy. So now we've got these three packs and we're very nearly done now. Now is the bit where you need to get your sticky tape ready and you're going to take your pack. Let's just use this one for example. You are going to fold it directly down the middle here and now this is when it's good I haven't done this annoyingly but when you if you have a black outline around your boxes then um, it's going to be really easy to fold because you can just find the crease I've got a little grey line there that I can use and you're going to fold your packs perfectly in half like this just turn it around and fold this top bit over as well well, actually, you don't need to fold this bit over. It depends on the method that you're using. But for this way of making the pack, I am going to fold it over. Okay, so you should be left with what looks like a pack, um, but it's not sealed together. You're going to take a piece of tape, Try and get as, as thin as possible so it's as hard to see as possible. So you're going to take a long strip of tape like this one here. Stick it to one side of your pack like this. Fold the pack in half, perfectly in half, and then fold the other piece of tape over and just stick it down like that. So now both sides of that are down, and the tape is quite hard to see because it's a thin piece, but you know it will still be slightly visible. Just try and get it flat so there aren't any creases or air bubbles stuck inside because that will make them look a bit worse. And now you can take another piece of tape, stick that to one side of your pack, and then fold that over, seal it, take your cards, just slip them nicely into the pack like that and then you can fold this top bit over and if you've got some double sided tape you can stick that bit into the inside of the pack to completely seal it or you can just put a line of tape over the top and there you go, you have finished your first pack of trading cards. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you didn't find it helpful, then uh, please let me know why. Or if you found a better way of making um, trading card packs, I'd love to hear it. But apart from that, I've not got much else to say, but please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, good luck with making your own trading card packs. See ya.